ZBook 15 is HP's mobile workstation laptop. Uh, this year, the G3 edition has been redesigned, uh, both with higher-end specs as well as being quite a bit uh, smaller and lighter, weighing only 5.7 pounds. Um, after using this laptop for around a month now, I can definitely say it's one of my favorite mobile workstations I've used. Uh, it has all of the standard uh, inputs that you need, uh, including two USB 3 on this side, dual HDMI, and uh, headphone in and out. Along the left side, we've got a security cable slot, Ethernet, VGA, uh, USB 3.0, and a flash card reader. Uh, the laptop's uh, keyboard has a LED backlighting system uh, that's very useful and I liked a lot while working at night. Um, you can see here that it comes with a, the power brick, but I also was sent the uh, docking station, which is the narrow, longer part there. Uh, the docking station allows you to uh, power your device uh, through a stationary brick there but it also adds multiple uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, two more dis display ports, as well as four USB 3.0 ports. This uh, docking station is easily the smallest one I've ever seen, uh, and it was super useful. Uh, in the time I had it, I was able to test it out using some uh, Civil 3D files I had. Uh, in this case here, I am importing in contours for the entire city that I live in, uh, something around 40,000 uh, contour lines, and you can see it, it imports them pretty quick. And it was only uh, 21 seconds to import 40,411 contour lines, which is pretty quick. You can see here the model that I built using the contours. Uh, it only took a few seconds and I was able to build a topo uh, model of the entire city. Uh, in this case, I had downloaded a, a couple uh, pretty advanced fusion models just to kind of play around and see how they reacted and how quick it rendered. Uh, you can see here that it was able to render pretty quickly uh, in real time using Fusion 360. Uh, here's another example where I used a a small car model that I just downloaded off of GrabCAD to test it out. Um, I played around again and I also did some day-to-day -day work using Civil 3D and I found no real issues, no crashes. Um, it had just as much power as my my desktop but I was able to work in the in the kitchen like I am right here. Uh, I was also able to take it with me uh, when I went out of town for a couple days.